what does he see? He sees a rifle, just a small part of a very big weapon. And he sees a small part of the rifle, the barrel, coming out of very heavy shrubbery. Who's going to see that? Not a lot of people. And he immediately would say, Who's over there, please? They were talking. <laughs> No, he took his gun and he started shooting him. And the guy dropped his That's, you know, that's... Nothing's in the category where I have to turn to right. You have about an eighth of a second where you say, but I'm telling you, that's... God was watching there, too. Because you needed somebody really to show up. I did Secret Service a hell of a lot of crowd. He said, you know, look, they've been... Uh, Hit hard because of Butler, because, you know, the building should have been taken care of, and they understand that. But when I went down, I had four, five, six people right on top of me, and there were bullets firing right over our head. A lot of bullets were flying right over our head. They were not sitting back and taking a pass. They were not saying, well, gee, I'm not going to go over. That's dangerous stuff. They were on top of me in seconds, and you got to give them a lot of credit. But here you have to give him credit, too, because this agent, I would have been in that location within 10 minutes, right? And right next to the guy, practically. And this guy's father shot. But how about this? He then ran. There's a fence in between, cyclone fence. And he then ran across the street, down the block, to get his color. Only a woman could do this, because men aren't smart. <laughs> Pretty busy road, Congress, it's called, mm -hmm. and very pretty busy. But she didn't like the way he looked. <laughs> now, I see people running all the time. I don't like the way they look. <laughs> but I don't follow them. Take but she didn't like the way he looked. He looked very suspicious. He was running like wild because he had to get away from the Secret Service. And his car was about a block away. She followed him, stopped right behind his car and started taking pictures of his license plate. Who would do that? <laughs> and I asked our great sheriffs in Palm Beach, I said, so if this happened a thousand times, how many times would somebody follow somebody and take pictures of the license plate? He said, maybe none. That's right. I mean, that's luck too. And or something. But this woman is incredible. And once they had the license plate, they had him in a high-speed chase down the highway. Once they had the license plate, it was over. If they didn't have the license plate, he would still be out there. I wouldn't be very comfortable. I would say, I wonder if he's in this audience. I'd say, where is this lunatic? But, but this woman was, what she did, what she did was amazing. So I've had a very interesting experience for the last couple of months. It's very, my profession is a very dangerous one. If you think of it, it's far more dangerous than auto races. One tenth of one percent of the auto races die. One tenth of one percent and a little more of the bull riders that look nasty, doesn't it? Die. Presidents. I don't want to tell you the percentage, but it happens to be a very dangerous profession. But you know, the only thing I can say is they only go after consequential presidents. <laughs> we are consequential. We're going to be even more consequential because we're going to do things that nobody has ever been able to do in this country. When Kamala is seen at the border on Friday, she will pass hundreds of miles of wall that was built by Trump. <laughs> and that's why we have, if you look at the arrow on the bottom, the red arrow on the bottom, that was the week I left office, that's the lowest level of illegal immigration in the history, recorded history of my country. Look at that. I love it. But that's the lowest level of illegal Immigration, and that includes drugs, and that includes lots of other things. You know, drugs are now coming through our border at about 10 times. We talk about the illegal migrants, but the drugs are pouring through. Fentanyl is pouring through. I had it down to the lowest level, and I had to deal with President Xi in China that he was giving the death penalty. He was going to give the death penalty that any, to anybody, because that's their penalty over there. That's why they have no drug problem. 
They have the death penalty for drug dealers. He was going to put this category. Those that make fentanyl and ship it to the United States was going to get the death penalty. And I told him, if you don't do that, if you don't do that, we're not going to do trading with China. We're going to go cold turkey. We're not trading. And we're going to put tariffs on anything that gets through, big ones. And he agreed to do it. And then Biden, of course, dropped the ball, just like he dropped the ball on Israel with Iran. Iran was ready to make a deal. They would have made a deal in two minutes. And now they were. They had no money. They had no money. And now they have $300 billion. They made it all in three and a half years. What a shame. What opportunity has been wasted. When Kamala speaks, be advised that we have to tell this woman has allowed record numbers of people into our country. They're from all over the world. They're now creating criminal havoc throughout the country. Aurora, Colorado, you saw that, where Venezuelan gangs are taking over real estate. They've become real estate developers. Sometimes. No, they're taking over real estate, and they have weapons that even our military has to see. Who's giving them these weapons? But Aurora is a mess. The governor is a mess. You know, the governor is a Democrat, and he's a radical left Democrat, and he's not too popular right now because they're going to take over a lot more than Aurora. They're going to go through Colorado, take over the whole damn state by the time they finish. Unless I become president, they won't last long. <laughs> So you have a town of 50,000 people. They have 32,000 migrants put into the town almost overnight. And the people are so nice. You know, they want to be nice. They say, well, we're, the mayor is actually looking for interpreters. He's looking all over the, for interpreters because they can't understand. The language is totally different. What the hell? I'm sorry. You have to move the people back to the country from which they came.